Welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika in with Vlogmas Day number three. And what are we gonna talk about today, y'all? We're gonna talk about Miss Omarosa Manicall, whatever her married name is after that. Now, on Tuesday night, as we were all watching CNN election night coverage of the senatorial uh, election over in Alabama with our fingers, toes, and anything else that we could possibly come up with, hope crossed, hoping that Doug Jones beats out Roy Moore. It was some occurrences going on down to the White House. Yes, it was, y'all. It was some occurrences going on down to the White House, and April Ryan told it all child down to the White House on Tuesday night as we were over here in the rest of our homes hoping that uh, Jones beat out more. Omarosa um, um, was uh, down there trying to antagonize uh, General uh, Kelly over there. Yes, yes she was. Yes she was. She was basically telling him that she wanted more access to the president because you know when Ke uh, Kelly came into his position one of the first things he did was cut off some of her access to uh, 45 because she he said that she was altering his emotions, making him focus on what she's talking about, which was some most of the time something that was negative. And I guess that was part of the reason why he goes on these Twitter rants. Now, I, I child, let me tell you something. I don't know what made Omarosa think that she had then overcame. What made her think that she had overcame, I don't know. But that very morning, which was Wednesday morning, she found out that she had not overcome. Not only was she released of her duties, but they say she was down to the White House trying to kick up a storm. Now, girl, how you going to come in out the field into the plantation home, become a house nigga, and think you got the right to actually have a say or a voice about anything that goes on within the workings of their organization? You got to be the stupidest. See, this is what happens when you forget who you are and you decide to ride for the other team. See, the other team reminded her. All that happened to Omarosa, and I know some people probably not going to be feeling what I'm saying, but oh well, you'll be all right. The only thing happened was this woman was giving her knee card reinstatement and kicked off the plantation. And because she was belligerent, she got escorted off the uh, plantation. Now, Secret Service went to took to Twitter and said that the only thing they had a part in doing was deactivating her pass so that she would not be able to come back onto the property. But who kicked her off? Because we know she was kicked off of the property because she became um, angered by the fact that she was being released of her duties. And let's just be honest, what is her duties? You're getting paid $180,000 a year. That's more than some people see in two years. And what exactly was she doing? Absolutely nothing. She wasn't bridging the gap between Afri the African American community and the current administration. We didn't see her doing any of that. In fact, what she was doing was going up there to the Black Caucus and getting into it with different leaders up there Instead of trying to bridge a gap, she was causing dissension, and that is the reason why uh, we never heard about what it is exactly she does. I remember someone said that they even went so far as to had an in someone a reporter interviewed her right after she took office, and um, all that she did with the reporter was walk around the White House, basically speaking to people, letting the reporter know that she is there and people know her, but. Not one time did they talk about what her position and uh, what her position was and what exactly it entailed. They they said that the uh, reporter never even sat down in, in her office. They say she ain't even got a stapler machine up on her desk in her office. Well, what was her office? I don't know what it's gonna take for people to realize that this current administration 
don't have room for us, okay? It don't, because it's being ran by um, a, a white supremacist who just don't care anything about the needs or the concerns of the black community or any other co minority community that does not make the same amount of money that he does. He worried about him and his kind alone. And this was nothing but a, a reminder to Omarosa that she had not overcome. The next set of people gonna find out they ain't overcame either is cotton and polyester, also known as diamonds and silks. Honey, they, it's only a matter of time for Trump remind them that girl, y'all was cute doing the uh um the the campaign. You know, y'all look good for me. So, you know, I use y'all and let y'all think that y'all was important to me, but I really don't care about y'all either. He gonna reinstate they need card too. Just gonna be a matter of time. But I thought that was just the funniest thing in the world that Miss Amarosa thought that she had to overcome, baby. She thought she had overcome and got her knee car reinstated and kicked off the plantation. Baby, he treated you like Miss Millie. He don't know you either. <laughs> we all oh, what a tangle web we weave. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful of, of forgetting where you came from and who you are. And then the people tells me, I was down there watching Miss Honey, I sure was. Y'all go over there and watch Miss Honey. She said that Amarosa a pastor. A pastor of what? A pastor of who? Well, you know the devil know the words, so amen. That's all I can say about that. But I thought that was just the funniest thing, and it just gave me a tinkle inside of my tummy laughing about this fool who thought that she was never going to be reminded that she's not one of them. Child, he kicked her off of Pride Rock. Ain't that some? A holler. I am hollering every time I think about that. But that's what you get. You never win when you play dirty, and you never win when you forget where you came from. Because you might be winning today, but that downfall going to be quick, and it's going to be painful. And I hear she got an interview in the morning with somebody. Well, it's going to, by the time y'all get this, this will be day three. So she'll be done to have an interview that morning. I want, I'm curious as to what she going to say about her dismissal because they saying she resigned. But y'all done, uh, done uh, took back her security clearance so she can't get on the property. But her tenure is supposed to end in, on January 21st. So is she just going to get a check to the end? Or, I mean, how, how does this work? What are we going to do here? What are we doing with Amarosa? I'm just curious. Anyway. This is Vlogmas Day number three on that ass. And uh, I'm Lady Nika. I would like to remind y'all that the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video wherever it is that you share a video. And I'll see you guys back for Black King Crook. I'm going to come back through with that review. And um, y'all have a great remainder to your uh, Thursday, honey. That's what y'all do, okay? Peace.